The reason Pretzel's my favorite book is when I was four years old, my grandmother would bring me over to see her very best friend who had a dachshund. And I got to play with that wonderful, cute little dachshund. Well, it won't surprise you that today I have a dachshund of my own named Bruno. But the reason I love the book so much is it's about a little bit of romance, a little bit about having a hero in the story. And in this particular story, Pretzel grows to be very long and suddenly he has a girlfriend that he would love to marry, but she doesn't want to marry him because he's too long and she doesn't care for that. So he tries to bribe her with bones and balls and all kinds of things. She still says, I don't want to marry you. I don't like long dogs. Then one day, something happened and Greta, his girlfriend, his ball fell into a great big hole and Greta went in after it and she began to cry. She was so sad. However, Pretzel had been watching the whole time and it's the longest dog in the whole wide world. He leaned over and he was able to get her out. So she sighed and said, oh, you saved me. And so she, he became her hero and she married him, not because he was long, but because he saved her. And I guess the reason I like the book so much is there's a moral to the story. And that is frequently we look at people who are different or strange or something that's odd and we think we don't like it and we won't bother with it. But it really helps if we could take a little time and give people another chance and let them know that just because they're different that we could still like them. They might even become a friend and they might even become your husband or wife, just like Pretza and Gretel. So think of the moral of that story. If somebody seems to be a little bit different, it doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with them. You might even learn to like them very much if you just give them that chance.